smell of cigarette smoke in clothes and furniture damage brain and liver. If you use cigarette indoor, the smoke seeps into everything in the room, including clothing, furniture, and drugs. Even this third-hand smoke can be harmful to our health. People should be aware that hotel rooms, cars, and homes that were occupied by smokers are very likely to be contaminated with third-hand smoke. Third-hand smoke toxins can stay on surfaces for years and linger in the hair, skin, and clothing of smokers. Now, researchers at the University of California, Riverside, suggest that in less than one month, third-hand smoke exposure, causes damage of liver and brain cells. The study, published in Clinical Science on September 15, 2017. Manuela Martins Green, is a cell biologist of University of California, is the lead study author. They also had increased cortisol levels, a weakened immune system, and increased insulin resistance resulting in the development of type 2 diabetes. The toxins are absorbed through our skin and through breathing without knowing we are exposed ourselves to harm. Third-hand smoke exposure is a stealth toxin and a silent killer. Residual tobacco smoke mixes with dust, settles on surfaces and even penetrates porous material in paneling and drywall. And when it combines with indoor pollutants, such as ozone and nitrous acid, new compounds, such as nitrosamine, also known as NNA, a tobacco-specific carcinogen are created that damage DNA and could potentially cause cancer. The study showed within one month, a 50% increase in proteins that trigger inflammation in the blood and liver are found. By two months, there is an increased cell damage in the liver and brain. By month four, they were more susceptible to type 2 diabetes due to a 30% rise in fasting blood glucose levels and insulin. There is a positive time-dependent significant correlation with increased time of third-hand smoke exposure and the effects. The researchers note that the effects need to be further investigated in humans and exposure needs to be observed over a longer period of six months since humans mature slower than mice. The researchers concluded their study can serve to educate the public on the dangers of third-hand smoke. The biomarkers identified can be used in the clinic, once verified in exposed humans. Another study published earlier this year raised concerns about third-hand smoke in children of smokers. Children who arrived at the emergency room with breathing problems linked to second-hand smoke exposure had more than three times higher the level of nicotine on their hands than the hands of non-smoking adults who live with smokers. The nicotine reading on the hands of children whose parents deem themselves light smokers suggests these toxins could derive from another source other than direct cigarette smoke. People who move into houses and apartments owned by previous smokers are also at risk because third-hand smoke is difficult to eliminate. The toxins that make up cigarette residue have a different reaction to cleaning products, which can make it hard to eradicate pollutants. According to Bo Hang, a scientist at the Lawrence Barkley National Laboratory in California, the best approach is to replace the carpets, clean up the ventilation system, all this could help. Public health agencies are attempting to implement tobacco bans to address second-hand smoke exposure and potentially third-hand smoke exposure. Still, the ideal approach is to kick the habit, second to never starting at all. Thank you.